okay. <laughs> Ready to go. But I won't say that to the camera. <laughs> I think it was Bill Gates who said that healthcare is the last major industry not to be transformed by the information age. Because of the vision of our 10 funders, we've created Health Data Research UK to unite the UK's health data in all its dimensions to enable discoveries that change people's lives for the better. The UK is incredibly rich in its data resources, but although we talk about one NHS and one health service, the reality is that it is really quite fragmented. That has shifted enormously over the past year, it's continuing to shift, and I think that overall vision is, uh, is tremendously exciting. Bold, exciting, challenging, daunting, but potentially transformative. The prospect of a new kind of multi-dimensional science that dissolves boundaries across disciplines, institutions, disease areas, ideas. It's ambitious. Um, I think it's going to take time to achieve that. Um, but actually, ultimate benefit is going to be that we will be able to much, much more rapidly understand a disease at its really detailed level, and then as fast as you possibly can turn that into treatments and actually turn it into interventions before you get sick. You can have geneticists, pathologists, surgeons, economists, patient advocates, all working together, all bringing their data into this mix, this milieu, if you like, and then taking out the information from that, using it to inform the way in which we do things better for our patients going forward. Different disciplines speak different languages, so quite a lot of the initial challenges are getting people from different disciplines in the same room and actually helping them to realise that often they're talking about the same thing but using different terminology. And I think HCI UK has been a great catalyst for really getting those conversations going. It's opened up a new world, a lot more conversations with bioinformaticians and, uh, and genomics related people. So it's like a new community that's overnight grown around us and created new opportunities and, and new friends. Trust and respect is going to take a long time. It's not something that's going to be done overnight. And that's something as the public advisory board we are taking to heart because we are the patients, we are the public. The, the biggest thing I think is to be listened to and actually see our thoughts and opinions go into the new work that they do. This has become truly one institute. And whether you're from Oxford or Edinburgh or Belfast or Leicester, it doesn't matter. The aim is uh, around the science of health data research. I think there's going to be a much better NHS than we now know it, which is more efficient and delivers better patient outcomes because we have more capabilities to improve the system using data, using objective insights. We will understand diseases much better and if we understand diseases then we can find better treatments. It's as simple as that. So I believe it will revolutionise medicine, the practice of medicine.